at the very pinnacle of the towering Saturn V, perched atop the lattice-like launch escape tower, was a seemingly unassuming small ball, subtly bored with eight tiny holes. This was the cue ball, and it played a truly colossal role in ensuring astronaut safety. You might have seen something similar on airplanes, those dart-like pitta tubes near the nose, sending airspeed data to the cockpit. The cue ball was conceptually similar, but instead of just airspeed, it specifically measured dynamic air pressure as the rocket soared through the atmosphere. That's where it got its unique name. Pressure is often referred to as Q, hence the cue ball. Data streaming from those eight precision holes was vital. It fed directly into the command module's computer for the crew and wirelessly to controllers on the ground via telemetry. But this wasn't just data for data's sake. The cue ball was so sensitive, it could instantly tell if the rocket was veering even slightly off course. If it detected a minuscule error, it could signal the powerful first stage engines to correct the trajectory, keeping the 36-story giant perfectly aligned. But the cue ball's main heroic role was in the rare event of a launch abort. The launch escape system itself housed a solid rocket motor, delivering more thrust than even the Redstone rocket that launched America's first astronauts. If disaster struck, say, the rocket exploded just after liftoff, the LES would instantly fire, yanking the command module away from the danger. The cue ball, by continuously measuring air pressure on all sides, instantly determined which way the spacecraft and escape tower were flying, ensuring they cleared any explosion and landed the crew safely. Before launch, you might have seen the cue ball looking a bit bulbous. Like those airplane pedo tubes, its vital holes needed protection from clogging. Believe it or not, even insects building nests could be a risk. Releasing that cover seconds before launch was an incredible, almost Rube Goldberg-esque procedure. It involved two cover halves, a two-inch rubber band with a razor blade wedged behind it, a wire rope routed through a pulley on a crane, then down a tube to a weight resting on a lever. Controlled by a pneumatic solenoid valve in the launch control center, this lever would rotate, letting the weight drop, pulling the rope, severing the band, and cleanly separating the cover. It was certainly an over-engineered system for a simple cover, but absolutely critical for reliable data. And thankfully, in seven years of Saturn launches, its ultimate abort function was never needed for real. A truly unsung guardian in the quest for the moon.